But anyway, what it was, was I realized that something happened because I, I was able to hit it straight with that wide open stance. So then I started screwing around and realized, well, what if I did the, got that same feeling, but did it from a closed stance, right? So I did the same feeling and I realized, man, I can hit it straight from a closed stance. I didn't see that ball, but that went pretty high, didn't it? Right. So then I realized, for crying out loud, if I can, I can just focus my swing on getting that same feeling in my, in my right leg and right down into the ground, right down, right into the thing. And I felt it well, the first time I did that loop in action from the Trevino did, right? So that's your anchor. Right. So I put the right foot down and then Hogan, he had an extra spike on his right foot, okay? Well, he, I mean, who, who mails off to England to get uh, an extra spike, uh, a shoe with extra spikes? Ben Hogan did. Why? Because that spike was the focal point of his balance on his backswing. Talks in five lessons. Lift the toes in the shoes, okay? That makes you feel like your, your weight is between the ball of your foot and your heel. So I started just saying, okay, well, let's look the ball of the foot. Imagine where that spike is. That's the pivot point in my whole backswing. So I put it in there and I pre-turned the foot a bit so I could feel pressure in there. Do you, do you weight shift your top on that to get well, it centered? I just start, right? So the thing about it is, now, what by screwing down, so to speak, into that focal point, and a little bit into the heel too, but A, if I can keep that feeling there, I know that the weight's never gonna go to the outside of my In foot. the other videos, that's why you could go to different stance, because you always had that one leg. Because my pivot point is right here. And so the other stuff, right even when you stand right straight up the, and hit it right, perfect. Right under the ball of my foot. So my hips go forward, whatever happens, my pivot point is right there. Okay. And it doesn't move. And, and so, that's not a reverse pivot? No, reverse pivot's when you're here and you go like that. Okay. That's a reverse pivot. Now what I'm doing is I'm keeping it here to the right. Now what the most, most people would do is they would take it back here and when they would release, they would release all that pressure and push left. Okay? okay, but they would do it like this. And that's when you start slicing. Well, you, 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 right? you can't control your you can't control your your club face. The top. You're cooked. You're totally cooked. So I th said, well, what happens if I keep that pressure going, you know, clockwise into the ground with that focal point there, toes up in the air, so I know I'm not going to go forward, right? So I'm keeping that weight to the back of my heels. Okay, hang on. Between no pronate. No. What about the right, the top leg? They're saying, you know, having that. Was okay. that? You can do anything you want after that. That's shape and shots, right? The thing about it is, I'm going to show you something. So I've got this done. I'm feeling this right now. I'm screwed into the ground it, right now. It keeps your hips straight on contact. Well, what it does is, it, is it, it presets how you're going to move into the right leg, okay? So now, like, I can just turn into that leg, okay? I'm just going to turn into it. I'm going to try and stay real steady on this, but my weight's there. So I'm just going to turn in it. I hit that a little thin, but it's dead straight. Now, you are just missing that boat out there. Every I, I, it's far enough well, you're. I'll hit it right over it. Don't worry. You hit every one over it. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Let, let's just get this done because people are going to get bored if I don't get through it fast, right? Okay, so I've got myself preloaded. Now, guess what? If I want to get a little more zip into it, I can, I can, I can really aggressively go into that right leg because I've already preset how I'm moving into it, right? Okay, so now I'm going to do a lateral move in there. If I want, I can do it. So I'm going to do this lateral move and straight through. Now I hit that one exactly the same because what's happening is I'm so focused in terms of how I'm feeling my weight and where it remains. And when I'm coming through, okay, now this is like Paul Berthley. He was an old pro. I think he's gone too. He's dead now. Okay, he had all these positions. Okay, so you're here, you're here, you're here. When I'm here, I, my, for me, I feel like my swing is done because as soon as my club starts heading back to the target, I'm going left, and I'm going left this way. So I'm going left down this way. So anyways, now, Berthley had this. This is a position, that's a position. See how low the club is? Yeah. That's a position. Yeah, I, now, and then that's what, that's what the, I've been told a lot of, to draw it back and then up. Is okay, that correct? But, but anyways, so you're holding it right and everything else. So now we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you the vertical drop and the horizontal tug, okay? I call it compression because it's easier because what it is is in transition, I wanna get shorter, okay? If I get taller, 
I'm going to be all over the You're place. You're putting a spring load. Okay, so I'm here. So now, I'm going to go, and the club's going to go here. I'm going to hold it like this. Okay? Not, not physically your hand No, up there. no, I'm just showing you what it's like. So you can feel that pressure. That okay. Now, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to keep my foot turning into the ground. Counter, it's clockwise still. But I'm going to go like this. Now, the left leg is going out, and it's tugging me. That's the tug. The hands are dropping, and I'm dropping into transition. And you can you can do that without burying your club in the ground. Look, if you can do this in slow motion, you are in balance. Casey, get out of here. I'm going to do this in slow motion. Casey, come here. So here's what you're doing. This is exactly it. I'm going to describe it in slow motion. So I'm going here. I'm going to go as slow as I can. You'll see that I'm staying in balance. I'm coming here. Now here's transition. I'm exaggerating a bit, but here's transition. And in my right leg, I still feel like I'm turning to the right, clockwise. Now I'm coming in. My heel is still on the ground. My hands are coming in, and I'm going to come like that. And I want to get to there. Now I've been able to get to there because I'm still in, in balance. I've done nothing to compromise now, my balance. Now your left heel looks like it's up a bit. Well, it's going to your come right up heel. because my hands are passing right my heel, center. I mean. Yeah, my hands are passing here. Now that's going to take me out into the golf course and it's going to pull me up into my finish. Okay? You know what I need? Like, uh, the other pro golfers will get that. But I need that on video and I need to slow that down and... and well, you can take the video and you frame. can slow it down. But you'll see I'll go through all those same positions, right? And we're going to do it just like Hogan. The arms together, I'll do it like straight out of five lessons. I don't do that because some of the, the, the things are, are what ingrained about, already. What about I don't grip have and the V's to the shoulders? What? The grip and the V to the shoulders, or, well, or is yeah, that too? because he, he, he in the, it, people saw the twine around his arms and everything, it really tight and close together. That's great to practice, man, because you get to get in there and get into this position, yeah. okay? And he showed the hands. The arm comes, the hands come this, okay? When you're gonna, when you're gonna hit the golf ball, okay? You can pull the golf club, okay? Fred Couples pulls the golf club in, in, with his left hand. You can push the golf club with yeah. your right hand, yeah. okay? And your weight shift. You can also rotate the golf club. Now watch, it, watch, when I'm here, rotating it like this is pretty difficult, right? If I go rotate the golf club, it's going to straighten out. Yeah, but it's still a matter of hitting it flat to the target. It's just very hard. Well, no, because if the furthest you can rotate it, if the furthest you can rotate it is to square, you're fine. So you just cup under, you, you Johnny Miller it. Right? Look at that. Fuck, I wish I could do that. So anyway, the whole thing is that my anchor point is there, and it's on uh, that, that extra spike that, that Ben Hogan has. That's where I feel it. And I feel like it, that pressure is never leaving until the ball's gone. So even if I do a weight transfer, what I'm feeling is not, I'll give you an idea. Is Other it, people are like this. Is a spring in your back Well, here's leg? what happens. People, people shift squarely into their thing. Okay, yeah. square. Well, then they turn around the outside of their foot, and then they're all over the place. The thing is, I'm all I'm doing is presetting where the focal point of my turn is. Okay, and it means that I can make lateral move without swaying to any place that's, that's beyond recovering from. Okay? So, now you want to do the pronation or all that other stuff. A lot of that just happens. So, you just hit enough golf So balls all that happens. though, it just adds to your 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 weapons of of, of choices of of what you can do to the ball after you get this. Well, it, it, it's it's the whole thing is it's very simple. All this does is get you moving in a way that you cannot come back to the ball badly. I mean, you can you're never out of position because you're never out of balance, and you've preset how that right foot is gonna. You've pre-engaged it basically. I mean, some people are going to think this is this is quackery, but it's the simplest bloody thing in the world. 